gosh, it doesn't want to focus. Hello? There we go. Eat the rich. <laughs> I'm sorry for how crooked my um, thingy is. I'm sorry. I swear, and to me, it looks very crooked. I don't know. Um, I think after today, I'm not going to be a day ahead with filming anymore. Um, because I... <laughs> Today is September 15th, which for those of you that don't know is my deceased son's birthdays. Uh, I have a whole video that I posted about the entire experience. I told everything that happened. Um, I am willing to talk about it. It's not something that I'm, uh, that I'm, that I'm ever like, I don't want to talk about it. Like I'll talk about it. I posted a whole video about the entire thing start to finish. Um, but the next few days are not going to be that great for me. I'm just kind of existing. And I got to tell you guys that the 15th very, very quickly uh, approached. I woke up this morning. See, I feel like I'm handling it better this year than I normally do. Because usually I wake up, I dread it. Like I count down to it. I dread it. Um... And I wake up and literally all I want to do is lay around and ball all day. And I just kind of feel like the world's kind of falling out from underneath of me and everything is bad and all that stuff. I feel like the 15th like snuck up on me. I am really bad about losing track of time now. And um, like last night I was laying in bed and I looked down at my watch and I realized that it was the 14th. And I was like, okay, so here we go. Um, but... I don't really like today and that sucks because I shouldn't dislike the day that my kids were born but um the 15th and the 17th suck even more because those are the days that they died and um yeah I I have been doing this thing all day and I'm not really sure if it's a healthy way to cope with it where I've just kind of been redirecting my thoughts um all day when I start to get sad I try to distract myself. I don't know if that's a healthy way to cope. I genuinely don't know if that's a healthy way to cope, but I don't know how else um, to do it. I don't know how else to do it. That's not to say that I haven't had several mental breakdowns today because I absolutely have. It's just, it hasn't been an all day event like it usually is. God, I can't wait to see. I cannot wait to see the comments on this because there's always got to be one i literally like oh my god one time i posted a video of me crying because my son's type 1 diabetes and somebody was like oh my god you look like you have a bad spray tan you look like you have bad spray tan and i was like take that up with my jeans bitch <laughs> um and then one time I posted about how scary it was to take D to the dentist and how he cried but was so brave. And somebody was like, you have really bad crow's feet. <laughs> Anyways, a little bit ago, D and I were sitting outside on, on the porch and uh, I put his sticker on his laptop for him. And he was telling me about his puffle plushies because his dad was coming to get him. And... um I, for some reason, you guys know how I drink the giant fucking monster cans with the lid on them. I, for some reason, believe myself to be safe from this. Came back upstairs after his dad got here. Came back upstairs. My monster can was sideways on the comforter. Didn't think anything of it. It has a fucking lid on it, right? Go to sit down. I, I have my iPad. I'm, like, stuck on this fucking uh, Candy Crush level. I've been stuck on it for, like, a fucking week. Uh, or less, I don't know, I don't know time, um, obviously, I don't know time, uh, my, my monster can leaked all over my comforter, so now when I lay down to have a good depression moment, I can't snuggle my blanket, that's probably the universe being like, if you don't have a blanket, you won't want to lay down, it's true, it's true, it is less tempting to lay down when I don't have my blanket to, uh, wrap up around, I have to hold it like a body pillow. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. Anyways, Epps is out getting some stuff for the week. 
Um, I like how my fucking retinol is sticking out so badly because I put it on over top of my lotion instead of underneath of it. But to be fair, I didn't realize that I had moved it somewhere safe and was under the impression that it was lost. Anyways, Epps is out doing some errands before the week starts. And by that, I mean like grabbing us caffeine for the morning and um, all that. And uh, he'll probably be home any minute now. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. It's like close to 6 p.m. Yeah, it's 5.34. If you guys get another Sims video for me this week, you have to forgive me. You have to forgive me if you get another makeup video. I know, like, I have a goal of posting one Sims video and one makeup video a week, and I posted two this week. Um, if, if you guys get another makeup video or another Sims video from me, it is literally just because I am flying by the ass of my pants for the next few days. Uh... Yeah. Oh, you're trying to make me jealous. <laughs> she says, you see what I got, Daddy? You see what I got, Daddy? What I got to do, don't got? Oh, whoa. Oh. This, this might be making you jealous. I just want you to know that it's not your fault that mom likes me better than you. <laughs> Wednesday! You're not a meaner wiener, are you? You're not a meaner wiener, are you? Oh, you look a little evil, baby. <laughs> oh, my! Mm. Alright, so I don't think this, I don't think this video is going to be very long. Um... I didn't really vlog a lot yesterday. It is 2 p.m. I haven't vlogged yet today. Uh, I'm a little scared right now because it's Monday, so Epps just clocked in. The boys are at school. And I'm kind of out here floundering by myself because I don't have anybody around me to distract me, to keep me distracted. Um, so I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Like, part of me wants to play Sims and part of me wants to play with makeup. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. But what I do know is there is something in the middle of my lip. And I'm not sure if I busted my lip or it's a fucking cold sore coming in. Either way, it sucks and it hurts. And it kind of makes me afraid to put on makeup, but not really at the same time. Also, I just ate tacos and I definitely feel like I have taco meat in my teeth. And I definitely got taco grease on my second favorite hoodie. So today is going exceptionally well. Listen, I was a big brave dog yesterday. I was a big brave dog yesterday. Epps and I went to the grocery store Finally, went to the grocery store to get the stuff to make the Coraline button eye cookies, and they didn't have black dye. They didn't have black dye. And I, my plan was, you know how, like, in the movie, black buttons are, like, the main ones, but she also, like, mentions pink and vermilion and chartreuse or however the hell you spell it, which vermilion is just, like, a shade of red, and the other one is, like, a shade of green. Um, I was going to make like sets of each of those colors, like four sets of each of the colors. And they didn't have any fucking black dye. Epps and I went up and down and up and down and up and down the baking aisle. We could not find black dye. We found everything else, but I was like, there's no point if we can't find black because black's the main color and we were not going to go to another grocery store to look for them by we I mean me because we went to the grocery store by our house which is like this fancy kind of expensive one and they have a lot of shit that you can't find other places but then like you can't find shit like black food dye you can't find shit like black food dye <laughs> but um I know they have it at Walmart because I bought some around my birthday time to um dye my my cake frosting but we gave up on that and I was like, okay, well, let's just get some of the Halloween sugar cookies. You know what I mean? Like the sugar cookies that have like the pumpkins and shit on them. They didn't have any. They didn't have any. I, mini. Any. Like, why do you have out your trick-or-treat candy? Why do you have out like all of your Halloween decor, but you don't have your, your autumn or your Halloween sugar cookies? So we ended up leaving with a rotisserie chicken the 2024 Halloween salt and pepper shakers, which I buy, I buy the salt and pepper shakers every year, and Frankenstein-shaped peeps, 
that I split with E. That's what we ended up leaving with. And you know what happened to the rotisserie chicken? Do you know what happened to the fucking rotisserie chicken? Listen, I'm not mad about this. It is hilarious. So 4.30 in the morning, like on the fucking dot, D went to spend, with his, spend the night with his dad last night. 4.30 on the dot, I get a phone call from his dad. I went to replace his Dexcom and it broke. Like it wouldn't come out of the thing. The button, I clicked the button, it wouldn't come out. I don't know what to do. I was like, well, make sure that he's eaten and put him back to bed for three hours. You know, you do have a, a little finger sticky thing that you could use on him if you're scared that he's low, but put him back to bed and then wake him up in three hours. Uh, because I'm up talking to him on the phone, um, I woke Epps up. I woke Epps up. He gets up. No, guys, he wakes up frequently in the middle of the night and goes downstairs and very robotically eats because he has a lot of muscles and so he's hungry all the time. Um, he goes downstairs. I hang up the phone. I lay there. I'm like, okay, it, it, I'll give him a couple minutes before I go down to make sure that, that he, this didn't happen. After like 10 or 15 minutes, I'm like, okay, I got to go check. I go downstairs. He's sitting in the chair with the rotisserie chicken in his lap. <sighs> this happens a lot. <laughs> I wake him up. I'm like, baby. He's like, oh, sorry. I was hungry. <laughs> like he he goes downstairs to eat like he'll make food and he'll sit on the couch or sit at his desk or like sit in the chair and he'll fucking fall asleep eating it and i'm like Bruh. it was the funniest shit i had seen in so fucking long in so long anyways i don't know what i'm gonna do i might play sims for a little bit i've been getting like frustrated and pissed off at it recently because of the love struck i wish i could turn off the game play but keep the build and buy and the cast like i hate the new relationship system i fucking hate it um i might play it for a little bit till i get annoyed with it and then maybe play with some makeup or something I don't know what I'm going to do, but I definitely have to keep myself busy. And I'm telling you right now, Candy Crush is pissing me off way more than it possibly ever should. Like, Candy Crush should never destroy your mental health the way that it does mine. <laughs> but it just kind of is what it is. You know, I don't I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. Um, I need to do my nails. If I'm going to make a, a makeup video, I want to do my nails. And no, I'm not saying you need to be self-conscious of your nails, but I sure as shit am self-conscious of mine. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying to stay busy. I'm just trying to like, I know it's probably not like the best approach to take, but if I let myself feel things about yesterday and today and tomorrow, then I will spiral there will be no coming back until my eyeballs bleed but i'm gonna end this video i know it's gonna be short it's fine um yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow bye